Alright, so I got a relatively serious discussion. And I'm actually going to discuss this in a semi-intelligent manner. Um, got a buddy of mine that, you know, he's repeatedly asking across the web. I've never met the guy in person. We've chatted together on the internet for years, but that's about it. But, um... He's always asking why cops don't get the respect that they think that they deserve, and he often draws the parallel. You know, why don't cops get the same respect as military? Um, make no mistake, I was never in any of the U.S. services. I've never been anything other than a contractor. My service with the RCAF was moot. I was discharged because they caught me for being underage. Fuck you, I'm nothing but a contractor. But I've had the displeasure of working with law enforcement over the years in DOJ. I love my DOD people. The law enforcement and DOJ people, man, there's a big difference between what I believe them to be as a kid growing up and what I know them to be as an adult today. Um... And I think that's where a lot of the lack of respect for law enforcement has gone. Is the people have realized, and you know, it's not in recent, you know, you can't blame the internet age. We've known it all along. People have talked this way all along. Most of us chose not to believe it. Um, and corruption comes in many forms whether it's the officer in charge or commanding officer, whichever you prefer, um, saying, hey, charge that fucker with a misdemeanor instead of a felony, that way he can still keep his job. Um, or if it's the two officers in the back room and one of them's telling his buddy, no, man, you can't put that in your report. Hey, fix that, because I don't put this. See, that's still wrong. When people know that shit goes on, and that causes distrust. Distrust causes a lack of respect. You know, when an officer commits a crime in the presence of other officers and that officer doesn't go to jail right then and there, then those other officers are guilty as accessories. Um, and unfortunately, there's a lot of officers committing crimes these days. Um, and I mean, it goes beyond, you know, you see every day on YouTube or Facebook, somebody's posting something about us, some cop done beat the shit out of somebody or broke into the wrong house with a warrant for up the street or no warrant at all. Um, it goes beyond that. I mean, the crack houses down in Englewood, pretty much, that's a cop operation. Nobody bothers reporting the shit because they're all afraid that, you know, hey man, that's the police, you don't fuck with them. Um, thankfully here in Venice they've cleaned up the problem. But little things like that, you know, they tend to create mistrust among people. You know, when those cops were here in Venice, um, at that little store across 41 there, you used to see dope dealer on one end of the parking lot, cops would pull in, dope dealer would go over and just hand them their money, cops would take off leave the whole show alone. Well, you see, people saw that going on, and they see that as corruption, they see that as criminal activity. And... There's a lot of disillusionment for a lot of people because, especially people like me, I grew up in an age when, you know, cops were supposed to be the role models. They were supposed to be upstanding citizens. They were supposed to obey the laws that they were sworn to uphold at all times. They were supposed to arrest their own mother if she was caught speeding, or at least give her a ticket. You know what I mean because that was the right thing to do. That's what they had sworn to do. Um, in all of these little various forms of corruption, 
or what caused an automatic distrust for the poets. You know, it used to be, yeah, you half-ass trust the cop. Now it's like, oh, he wants to pull me over? Shit, that place up there got cameras. I'm going to pull over in there. And really, truly, I have that little trust for law enforcement anymore. Um, you know, the worst I do is ride my motorcycles too fast, and I don't do that anymore. Hell, I fucking haven't been able to drive for several months because the pain levels are off the scale, and I tend to pass out from pain, and that's my choice not to risk my or somebody else's life by driving around. Um, I smoke a little weed if somebody's got it. Go out on these sand islands, carry me a 9mm socket, <laughs> pack me some leaves in there. Got no problem doing that. That's the worst I do. Everything else I do, you better believe, pretty much before I take on a project, I've gone everywhere I can, whether it's on Westlaw or just looking up the code in UCMJ. Um, sometimes in USC. And I make sure that there's a legal way that I can accomplish the end goal without breaking any laws or even stepping into a gray area. But, still, even with that position in my life, you know, even with me being in that position in life, I don't really have any trust left for law enforcement in general. Because if they fail to arrest their own, or let's use the cop up in Tampa that was beating on his girlfriend repeatedly for well over a year, never went to jail, even though he was caught on video doing it. Finally, after about a year, they locked his ass up for something else. Um, things like that, you know, that just Oh, fuck, they're getting away with it, they're getting away with it. And that creates mistrust, of, to me anyway, because I see those things too often. You know, and like I said at the beginning of this, I've been in the back room when y'all are sitting there collaborating. Uh-uh. When y'all write your statements, you should write what you heard and saw. And somebody even asking you to alter your statement should be charged with, I don't know, there's no real crime to it, I guess, but attempted felony fraud. Because if you're going to cost somebody a day's work, you know, the average person makes, what, 100 bucks a day? You know, okay, you'd have to cost them three days' work, five days' work in Florida. To be a felony church. But they should be charged with something or at very minimum automatically lose their badge the second they even suggest such a thing. That's a point of honor with me. You know, and family members will tell you, you know, I sit there and listen to y'all's story. I've got some family members that are pretty high up in the state patrol. I've got some family members that are deputy. I've got some family members that are local lives. I sit there and listen to your stories. I sit there and listen to y'all brag about how you fuck somebody over. Shit ain't right. Um, and just because I'm polite and laugh with you, that doesn't mean that I agree with you. That just means that, you know, it's a cop, he's probably got a gun on him, I don't want no shit, I ain't gonna get no argument with him, and you can't trust no cop not to go off on your ass, because the mentality among police seems to have changed from protect and serve the public to protect and serve the police themselves. And here's an extended ramification of such, you know, the smaller forms of corruption, the corruption in lower levels of government, like at the law enforcement level, how that trickles up because the mayor sees it. Hey man, you know, I've seen you do that shit. Fix this parking ticket for my buddy. 
County Commissioner sees it. Hey man, can you get your buddy to, um, you know, kind of lose the evidence for my kid there? Make sure a magnet gets stuck next to that video. Big fishing magnet. I'm sorry to say I provided that magnet. Um, I'm really sorry about that. Shit like that. And then it trickles up to, you know, Lieutenant Governor's office and the peons under him. And eventually the governor and all that. And it goes straight all the way to Washington, D.C. eventually. But that's a long stretched out path. But basically what I'm saying there is by the fact that the uppity ups see the grunts doing it and getting away with it, they're going to use up the grunts and they're going to get away with some shit themselves. And I'm not the only one who has realized that over the years. I mean, there are much smarter minds than mine out there. And if you're one of these officers that thinks that respect gained through intimidation is still actual respect, no, it's not. So, you know, don't bother trying to threaten or intimidate me in your comments here. It's just my opinion of why I think a lot of people don't show police the respect that they deserve. I show police basic respect as a courtesy. But I consider most, I got that keyword in there, most law enforcement officers to be dishonorable by their actions or lack of actions intentional lack of actions. Um, so the respect that I show to officers is a courtesy. It's not genuine. Because I feel that most of you don't have any honor. If you did, you would uphold the oaths that you have taken. Just like I, to this day, uphold my oath to the Constitution. Even though I was never military, I have taken the same basic oath several times. Um, it's, it's a point of honor to me that you follow through on what you promised to do. And I mean, the cop who would absolutely get my respect, uh, believe it or not, police1.com pointed him out for me. He's actually a traffic cop up in New York. He has had no complaints, no violations in 30 plus years. Unfortunately, all he does is direct traffic. But we need more officers like him because he doesn't break the law. Maybe he does off duty. And that's an entirely other matter. I've mentioned it in another video before. I had a cop in my bar one time. We were trying to find this fucker a ride home. He waves his badge around. And the bar wasn't full. It was past closing time. Well, nobody's supposed to be in there anyway. But there was quite a few people in there that saw this. I ain't worried they're going to arrest me. You know, when he left and drove off, I would be willing to bet you that more than half of the people in that room lost had already, by that point, lost any respect that they may have had for him or his occupation, just by his action right there. Just by rubbing it in their faces that he's a cop and he ain't going to go to jail, even though he is knowingly and or willingly operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Um, I mean, this motherfucker was tore up from the floor up. You can't stop him. He's a cop. He's a cop. What are you going to do? You can't call the cops on him. They ain't going to do nothing. And I don't really think that somebody driving with two or three beers in him was a bad thing, but this motherfucker was tore up from the floor up. It wasn't no two or three beers. It was... Anyway... 
you get the idea. But you see, all those little forms of corruption like that are what has caused people to not have the respect for law enforcement that law enforcement seems to think that they deserve. Um, and like I said, respect gained through fear or intimidation is not actually respect at all. Um, it's the best I can describe that, I guess. Hopefully, y'all just accept that it's my opinion and it's not subject to change. It's based on a lifetime of observance. Um, I didn't work with DOJ on DOJ contracts very much, but which actually I thank God for that because after meeting several of them, I consider them to be highly dishonorable. I won't say scum of the earth. I reserve that for those officers who allow their fellow officers to commit crimes and fail to or fail to take the actions necessary to arrest them. It's my opinion, like I say, it's not subject to change. It's just an opinion, and I do, but to show basic respect to law enforcement. I would even sit there and bullshit with you and listen to you, laugh along with you. Doesn't mean I approve of your actions. Alright, so I'll let y'all live.